Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. Now, I'm also going to be answering the Q&A inside of this video as well, just because there's only like a few questions and, you know, I want to upload a different video other than just a normal Q&A and it's going to be like really small if I was to do that. But while we're at it, we might as well do some dailies too. Alright, let's look at all the things we have to do today. Uh, well, Arena Hero is one of them. Go ahead and get that one out of the way. Uh, do I really want to use that team? I guess it'll be alright. So let's go ahead and fight this one, I guess. But I got the questions right here, and I'm going to answer both of them. There's only two, so yeah, it's not really all that big. Alright, the first question comes from William King, and his question is, will you make videos with your friends again soon? Um, I'm pretty sure it will be soon, especially with the Destiny 2 open beta supposed to be coming today. We're going to be making a few videos off that, maybe, but I might do future uh, Destiny 2 videos. But I can't really say that I'm just going to be like playing through the whole game it would probably be just for like talking videos and just you know chilling conversation videos probably cut calm let's let's just say that <laughs> but yeah we are we are going to be playing games together real soon and probably many more games there are quite few videos i have of us together but we have not been like but i have not been editing them at all yet so yeah that's the only <laughs> kind of like small issue right now and if you think invisibility is about to save you, man, it's not. My team is OP. Especially with Llewellyn finally maxed. Boy, am I happy. That's, that's right, we got Llewellyn to max, but she's fully done and completed. That's what I most <laughs> that's what I was supposed to say at the beginning of the video, but you know, I kinda you forgot. It flew over my head. But yeah, Llewellyn is max. Now we have two max trans. You know, I still don't do like a huge amount of damage right now, but once I get Falcon and Margaret, who I'm actually working on right now, and no, it's not Omega, I'm getting her ready. I am getting her ready, so when she comes out, I can just go ahead and grab her quickly as possible. Then when I'm done with this, I'm going to go for Omega, then get Falcon out of it. If you're wondering if I uh, got this key from like the free key uh 28 days no i did not i actually just went ahead and ultimate margaret and tracy so yeah got them out of the way and now i'm ready to pretty much ultimate this buster key and we will be ready for most of the things we can get but i honestly don't have like a stack of like trans essence saved up to get her right away so pretty much after after I get this one to ultimate, then get this one, well, maybe to ultimate, depending on if she comes out before I get this one to, to ultimate. So if she comes out before I even start on Omega, I might just go ahead and start farming the Transessence and get the Transessence, then I'll go back to farming Omega. Well, farming to upgrade Omega. So many words are not coming out like I want them to. But yeah, Falcon will be in the team soon. Margaret just comes first. Because you guys know, Margaret is my bae. Alright, so we finished everything else. Now it's time for us to go ahead and get this ready. Then after uh, Falcon, I'm going to start working on Helios Key. It's because I need that one for my Paladin so I can actually use my Paladin instead of the Archer. Because the Archer just feels like it doesn't have any like extremely good keys except for Thanatos. But he's alright. Not the best one in the world, but he's alright. Alright, so I'm gonna continue on with the QA. I forgot to like got sidetracked. Alright, Xandra's question is with YouTube changing, has any of your goals or plans changed? If so, what are the changes? Um I can't really say that I have any changes in mind because I'm still going to be my same old self with all the even with all the terms going on 
I'm still gonna be my same self. But the thing that really sucks is that I think that I won't be able to upload the um, Evil Within 2 series. Well, nah, I'm pretty much gonna upload it. Screw that. But my first Evil Within 1 series was hit with that, you know, that crappy limited to no ads freaking crap YouTube came up with, which was really dumb. But, you know, I'm over it. I still might upload the series and just say screw it. And Jesus Christ, our score is going up. But I don't plan on changing my content at all. If anything, I might start streaming a little bit more. I know I've been slacking out, but there's been a lot of like lag and things going on in my computer. And I will be like um, doing like a dedicated day of cleaning the PC. So if you guys don't see a video or something on that day, that's probably going to be why. Because I'll probably be just full on cleaning this PC. And Jesus Christ, we beat our score so much. Thank God, Llewellyn. Jesus. You are going all in. Thank you to Landy, too, for saving all our buffs. <laughs> like, yeah, Landy is definitely going to be max before I'm Black. Even though Black is, like, more of, like, an all-around character. But I have a feeling, like, her middle buff gets, like, cancelled out. I don't know why I get that feeling. I guess it's just because when they go, like, big and red, then they immediately go down. I feel like they lose their... They probably lost the buff. That's what it seems like. If anybody knows or have been seeing that as well, let me know if the buff is still on. Even though they immediately get like magnified, then go all the way back down to their normal self, do they still technically have the buff? That's what I need to figure out before I even start working on healers right now. I am proud of you guys. You guys are definitely stacking up the damage, especially the Llewellyn. Jesus Christ. And plus, each time she re she reloads a bullet, she gets more damage, which is pretty retarded. <laughs> so that's why people say it takes her time to build up damage. Which I, I can agree with. It does take her, like, quite a while to build up damage. How far are we going to keep going, guys? Jesus, I see those points in there. You would see them better if this wasn't in the way. <laughs> but that's all the questions we have for um, for the Q and A, which does suck. But you know, at least there's questions. I don't really mind. Oh my God, Jesus! Jesus has a wall of buffs. <laughs> That random bleed damage that came out of nowhere. It's like really small bleed damage though. Can we actually live live for 10 minutes? I don't think we will. But I have a feeling that we might. Helios is probably gonna die before anybody. I'm so proud of you guys, man. <laughs> We're getting so high. This is probably going to be the whole video, just, well, 10 minutes of the video. <laughs> See guys, we're making progress. But I have a feeling when we get Margaret, it's going to be like way higher, especially when we get her to max. It's going to probably be more retarded. Hopefully they don't bring out ultimates until I get Margaret to max. Because I want to work on Margaret all the way up to ultimate, like, first thing. But... Hopefully they don't start that into like way further into the trans. Oh, see, they're starting to die. See, if I had um, Helios over here, we could easily revive them. But the sad part is, Black cannot revive any helpers. Well, you can't revive helpers in general, which does suck. If anything, I probably should have put um. Kamel over here and put uh, Black over here as helpers. But it is too late now. We are uh, done. That's probably that's a huge improvement over my other scores. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the comparison. Oh, thank you. 
That is actually my highest score that I have ever gotten. I remember the last time I did try to do this and I was blocking it. Sometimes I forget that my cam's there and I just don't even realize it or think about it. What is my highest second high score? Uh, guessing this one? Yeah. That, this one would be my second highest. I wish they would show Llewellyn at the t what, like, um, great she was at the time. But they do not do that. Huh. Alright, that's, that's a pretty decent, like, change. Do I feel like I'm ready for, um... The different uh, modes for chapter four? Yeah, kind of. Until I start getting one shot, then there's a problem with that. But let's go ahead and do these five raids. They've been fairly fast over here. Oh yeah, then I gotta go do pigs. I should get them all here though. So we'll be able to do two pigs. All right, we finally found a team we can go in with. Hopefully I don't waste like a lot of revival scrolls. I hate wasting revival scroll, especially when it's not my character who died. Sometimes I hate it when the bosses talk because they kind of take up time. Wow, she died so quickly. Welcome to Rookie Bots. I mean, I'm mostly keeping myself alive in PGV. Uh, I kind of saw myself coming. At least I did not waste a ticket on that. That's the best thing I can say. <laughs> so I'm going to speed up through all the rest of these and you know what? So we can have enough time for like doing the pigs and seeing if we can get enough essence to actually get another upgrade in before the episode is even over. Alright, I think we're done. Uh, okay, go ahead and get my reward, thank you. Let's go check and see if we got our essence from that. Yes, we did. So, my first question is, why is Morgana allowed inside of raids? <laughs> She's so trash. I mean, what? She is totally not trash, I did not say that. She is so trash. Anywho, let's go ahead and do all the pigs. And if you guys are wondering where all my raid tickets came from, it's from the event shop. I've literally just been throwing everything into raid tickets. Now I shall never run out. Until the next uh, event shop, then I will 
continue to do the same thing over and over. <laughs> and I never run out ever again. Yeah, Cerberus is supposed to be coming. That's what this update's for. Isn't that supposed to be coming tomorrow? Tomorrow-ish, I think? I don't know. All I know is, Cerberus is gonna be a pain to deal with, considering he has a high resistance to like magic and is going to be like really annoying. Man, I am not looking forward to it to be honest. I forget which one of Llewellyn's like actual bullets are magic damage. Pretty sure her multi shot is magic, right? And her single bullets, the absolute piercing is probably like uh, physical damage. Then I gotta figure out if Raven Gill's guards are physical damage. Pretty sure they are, but Raven Gill herself is probably magical damage. So I'm gonna have to do research and look at my team. Margaret would be just fine because he has a whole crap ton of like uh, people she could summon. <laughs> I have a feeling Margaret's probably gonna be... No, I can't even say she's gonna be last. She's gonna be able to summon things that we don't have if she's not last. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna release her last, if anything. Which would suck. But even if she's not next, I as long as I get everything ready for her, for, which is, for when she comes out. Alright guys, get rid of them so we can see what we got. Then we're going to pretty much end off the video. Jesus, Llewellyn is just a straight up monster. Sadly, I haven't really gotten anywhere inside of Tower. Both of them are around like... I think I'm on floor 80 on Hero. But nobody's ever finished Hero, and I doubt anybody's going to finish Hero Tower. <laughs> I doubt that, like, extremely hard. But when Tower merges, Ultimates should come in for the Trans by that time. Just because Tower is going to be retarded without Ultimates. Well, the higher points of the Tower is going to be retarded without Ultimate. That I can say. Especially without better gear too. Because I was playing in the Korean version inside the towers and I can't even get past floor 1 yet. <laughs> Minor errors, you know. Especially since I don't do like normal raid, I'm just using helper gear. That's probably one of the reasons though. But you know, you would think you'll be able to pass it with the crappy helper gear. <laughs> And with all of them ultimate. <laughs> Could imagine doing that tower with just max characters. Can I get some essence here and not the character? Thanks, thanks, thanks. That was a waste. Like, come on, man. But like I've told people, I don't really play the Korean version all that much. You know, I just have it installed just to see, like, the new updates or characters that are coming in. And speaking of two characters that just came in, um, there are already two of them, well, the new Titans. There are already like two new Titans that came in recently, and that's an Archer and our new Rogue. The new Rogue's second ability looks dope as hell, and the Archer just pretty much is like a more fo damage focused Llewellyn. <laughs> it's pretty much what she is. Well, probably not damage focused, probably a little bit more utility based than Llewellyn, considering she can turn invisible. So, yeah. And plus she doesn't have the attack speed as like Llewellyn has, but she pretty much has the same mechanics as, Llew as Llewellyn. She reloads different bullets, I'm pretty sure. That's what it said. But overall, they, they both look sick, except for the Archer Titans. I see what people have been saying, that she kind of looks like a reskin version of the Mage. But you have to like remember that a lot of the things in the game are kind of reskinned. That's kind of the whole thing. It's kind of like the whole theme of uh, MMO games. 
just reusing the same asset countless of times, but just reskinning it a little bit. It's kind of a thing, especially except for the, like the um. Well, I can't even say the trans characters anymore because the archer just pretty much killed that one. <laughs> but it's it's just uh, it happens in a lot of MMOs. Let's just say that. It happens to the point where you're no longer surprised if it happens at least once. I mean, take Eden Eternal and Grand Fantasia. What else? Um, Terra. Terra Online does the same thing with a couple of their um, enemies. Uh, what else? But it's like a common thing for them to do. Especially if you see an enemy with the same stance as like a different one, then you could automatically tell it's a reskin. But if anything, they all, they both look pretty cool and dope. But I would probably get the Titan Archer just because, just because she looks like she'll be extremely strong in PvP. And so that one person has like, I can attack PU in the visibility. Actually, Trans Rogue can do that. Hmm, now that I think about it, that's going to be quite annoying. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Especially when the whole Trans main characters come by. Oh, hold up. Whoa, time out. Hold up. What the hell just happened? This man's always one-shotting everything. Especially if it doesn't have a shield, he just looks at you just like, yeah, I got you. Pretty sure they did have a shield at first. Ah, come on, it's not the one I wanted. Oh, God. I mean, I don't mind the essence, I mean. Oh, thanks. Thanks, I need that, actually. You gave me everything but light essence. Thanks, game. <laughs> But I'm not going to complain since you gave me some other essence, man. That's that's fine by me. But enough of me rambling on, guys. We're probably going to end it here just for today. And remember, my Dragon Blaze videos are Tuesday and Fridays. And pretty much on the weekends is pretty much when I do a playthrough of games. It's uh, Monday. Then Tuesday goes around just pretty much this cycle of like games I've already started. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I mean, we're making progress. We're getting there. We're getting there. And Trace is going to be there too, real soon as well. Too bad people are like debunking her, even though she's really good at uh, tag team. But, yeah guys, I'll see you guys next time on the next Dragon Blaze video. Till then, peace out.